I would challenge you both to independently come up with a secondary plan of if we're not going to remove these from the building, where could they be? How could we creatively focus on using these in a way that we haven't thought about before? So this is our dressing room. Nate always jokes that this is their home away from home while they're with <laughs> us. Um, we've got hanging rack, we've got jewelry in the cabinet behind you, we've got snacks on the counter, we've got a little odds and ends full of pins and tape and whatever they might need while they're here just to make sure that while they're with us we've got everything. All of our girls get complimentary hair and makeup. That's just part of our process. It helps loosen them up a little bit before um, the session. and. Yeah, so this is our space. And as you can see, we do have walls in here that probably need to be updated. Yep, absolutely. And again, talking about valuable real estate, <clears throat> this is definitely a space. Um, and I can remember when we were first talking, that wall that's actually behind Lucas where he's filming there, you guys are like, well, we don't really have to worry about this. I think that's something that we definitely want to look at because aside from the actual session, where else do they spend their time? Sure. You know, like it, if they're in the camera room, that's wonderful. If they're in here, that's where they're at the rest of the time. Yeah. So I really think that we want to think about maybe a new product, something that you're not currently offering or something that you've been wanting to offer or you want to sell more of, put it in here. And we're gonna talk about that wall there next okay. to the mirror. And then we'll also play with this corner a little bit. Maybe do something a little bit more dynamic in this corner. Ooh, something a little like bit taller, idea. narrower, something that's a little bit funky size, but this room is definitely going to come into the plan as far as what I can see, you know, going um, forward. So I'm excited to look at images, discuss which ones um, that you want to put in here. You were saying before that some of these are a little bit dated, so it's great that we're going to go through and we're going to update them because this is truly like their home away from home. This is where they're going to hang out spend time, mom's gonna sit here yeah. more than likely. So we're gonna spend some time picking that and picking this for you. Perfect, I love it. Awesome, okay, so the last place we're gonna go is gonna be kind of a fun discussion. It is. It <laughs> is, because um, aside from the rest where you and Nate are in complete agreement, the rest of the ones, you guys have been pretty much on the same page. This other one, you're still kind of deciding what we're gonna do with that, if we're gonna do anything with it. So let's go ahead and walk out and take a look at that. We're gonna grab Nate from his office and have a little discussion about that wall next. Okay, so we find ourselves on the way to the camera room which happens to be right up from the rear entrance of the building for everybody that has not had the honor of being here and hanging out with you guys like we have. So let's talk about this wall, okay? I think that you both have very valid points about why you want to do what you want to do, but let's go ladies first and let's start with Teresa. All right. So I love this wall because Nate is awesome at doing creative sports posters and that is a big chunk of our business. So I, I love the idea of it. However, looking to go bigger and bolder, a lot of families have a stairway in their home. So I would like to convert this wall more to what a family could see in their home. So in my head, I'm picturing a family portrait in the middle and then maybe seniors on either side, whether it's a small cluster of seniors on either side and a big family portrait in the center, or I guess I'm not sure what's really on trend right now, but that to me seems like a better use of this space for planting seeds for, to, for, so that people can see what they could do in their homes. Got it. So during the sales session, then you could see Nate coming out here as he's selling and saying, this would be a perfect scenario of your stairway going up to upstairs Absolutely, in your home. Yep. Okay. Um, and then also, you, if you're coming in the back door to come up into the studio or if you're going to the frame shop, it's going to be there for just that silent salesperson, yep. if you will. Okay, so Nate, you've got the floor. <laughs> I think um, this is the back door to our studio. It's kind of the creative side of the whole building. Like this is the playroom, the camera room, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and we also have a frame shop downstairs. So this is kind of a two for one, um, a big chunk equals over a third of our annual revenue is sports imagery. And a big piece of the marketing or the draw to teams hiring us is the 
cool sports posters. Yeah. Um, so I think this is a showcase of those things in a space that doesn't necessarily have to be a continuation of the gallery. Mm -hmm. This, I want them to be featured. Now, our website does feature that. Our, there's other ways to do that, but this is just kind of a in-your-face way to do it. But it's also secondary marketing for all the, the frame shop clients as our back door is the frame shop's front door. And there's a lot of different styles and things to, to view here too. Right, absolutely. So <clears throat> I'm gonna give you both some homework, okay? I don't think that there's any reason in the world why you both can't win here because I think you both make valid points. Mm -hmm. Now, I personally would side with Teresa as far as this specific location. I think that the, the and I saw the arm cross, um, I think that this for visual representation of a stairway knowing that the camera room is literally right behind me, and that is a, obviously a place where you spend a lot of time with clients. Um, I think that this is a place where you could put something that would potentially make you more money like you were just saying a few minutes ago. But with that being said, I do think it's fun to have these. They're obviously wonderful. So I would challenge you both to independently come up with a secondary plan of if we're not going to remove these from the building, where could they be? How could we creatively focus on using these in a way that we haven't thought about before? What could we do with those images so they're still relevant, they're still present, but they might not be right here? Okay, so I'm gonna leave you with that, and I know that I'm totally springing that on you live <laughs> here, which if that's intentional. I do want you to, to think about that, this may change and it may not. I think that either way we're good, but it's fun to have the, the consideration and the discussion and the reasoning for people who are watching this because I'm sure there's many other studios out there that have spaces like this mm -hmm. that you love having it, it's awesome to have, but is it the best use of that space? Mm -hmm. So, all right, we'll leave it at that for today. So let's bounce into your camera room. Okay, so now we find ourselves in your camera room. This is kind of the last step in our journey for the day. Starting in the entryway, we went into your, your room where you do your um, album reveals and sign off on that. We talked about the hallway, we talked about sales, talked about the um, dressing room, all the things. We had great discussions and thank you for having us. We really appreciate it. Um, next steps. So this is the fun part now. Um, we've got all the images of your walls that you were gracious enough to send over. We're going to start doing some designs. You guys are going to start pulling a bunch of files because I know that you have like a bazillion of them um, to choose from. And then we're going to start choosing uh, products, images, sizes, all the things. Okay. Once that's all finished, we're going to have the room designs uh, set to go. Going to order the product. We're going to ship it back over and then we're going to come back over. We're going to put it in. Um, thank you. For thank having you. us, thank yeah. you. It's going to be a, a awesome journey. Yeah, so, we're excited. Our yeah. Pleasure, yeah, fantastic. Thank you for being here. Yeah, we appreciate it, and uh, we will be back. So, take care. You just don't realize how much clutter you have, or at least we had like little things that we thought were accents. That it's like, really, what is that purpose? Let's get it out of here. I want people to come in and look at the beautiful images on our walls. Hey everyone, thanks a lot for watching episode four of NP Design and Photography's Studio Makeover. We hope these sessions inspire you to elevate your own game. For more information or to set up a studio makeover, feel free to get in touch with us and set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation. In the meantime, you know the drill. Check out the description below. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button.